Hi Evan, it's Madison. Um, my dad told me that you wanted to, me to make a video for you about some of the things, how I feel on marriage rights and everything, and some of the things that I have accomplished. Um, the first thing is that my freshman year of high school, I started with GSA Club, a Gay Straight Alliance. Um, I walked in and I said, does your school have a Gay Straight Alliance? And they said no. And I said, oh, okay, well that means I get to make one. And we had a little bit of a problem because my principal said that he doesn't think that the kids were ready for a gay straight alliance. But I said, no, because as soon as I stepped foot in that school, I was like, I'm going to start a gay straight alliance because I don't want to go there. Like, there's nowhere that I can make sure that all, all um, gay people will be safe and be able to have a place to go to if they ever feel like they need somewhere to feel like they can be themselves and they can feel safe. Um, I've also spoken in Trenton a lot. I've spoken twice, I think. Maybe a couple more times. I don't really remember. I remember the first and second time. I've just done it so many times. Um, I remember that I spoke, the last time I spoke in Trenton was for gay marriage. And um, they were deciding on if they were going to pass it or not with the law. And um, I, I read a speech that I wrote um, about my parents. And um, after they were done, when they were, after I was finished reading and everyone else had finished, I had left. But I remember that um, someone called us and they were talking and they said, um, we, after we heard everyone's speeches, uh, the, the people, the assembly decided to sit down and they mentioned Madison. And they said, the, the reason why we have basically decided to do yes on the issue is, um, because of one of my speeches, and like it really touched their hearts. So that's an, um, a big accomplishment there too, was that when I had spoken, it really touched a lot of people, and um, it really made them choose that they were gonna make the decision on voting yes, and um, well, signing off on the thing, on the um, marriage thing that they wanted to do. So um, that was really, that made me really happy. Um, I've walked in a lot of the gay pride parades, um, we spoke before one of the pride parades, I think, last year. It was really nice, and um, I gave a really nice speech to the crowd. Um, I'm basically one of those people that is known for standing up for what I believe in, and I really enjoy um, fighting for things that I know are right. Um, I remember that we just had Week of Respect, and last year in my high school when we had Week of Respect, um, they didn't do anything, like the classes didn't talk about it, it was just whatever. But um, I remember that I said something, and I was like, how come we're not learning about respect? How come we're not talking about bullying? How come we're not um, writing essays about what we can do to make it better? And um, I remember that my father asked me, are we doing anything? And I said, no, we're not. How can I change that? So I told him, and he said that he would talk to the Board of Education because he's on the board. And um, now, this year, when we had the Week of Respect, um, we talked about it for the whole week, and I was really happy, and I knew that it was something that I had thought of and I wanted to make the school better for the people around us, um, which was really good, and I felt really happy about it. Uh, when I first started my Gay Straight Alliance um, club, we had about 40 people, I think, showed up, and... Um, I ran for president because I knew that I had a lot of resources with regards to equality and stuff and um, <clears throat> with my parents and that we could get a lot of speakers in. and um, I ran and I, I I ended up winning so I was the president for a while and um, that was last year and it, it was really good and it, it's going really well but um, I think that since I was a freshman and I got to be um, the president for that, it kind of, the club didn't really get a big leap, so now um, we're working really hard on making it better, and um, I have a lot of kids that talk to me, and a lot of people come to me that are gay, that are like, Madison, I need help, and I don't know what to do, so, so really when people get bullied, or they need help with something, or gay, straight, whatever, most people usually come to me for advice, or for things that, like, they need help with, and I'm just there as, like, a giving person to everybody, and, um, it's, 
it's kind of like a characteristic that I have that a lot of people notice. And um, uh, at the week of respect, I remember this week, uh, we had to write about the people that um, we respect most. And I wrote down on my paper that I respect everyone because I don't think I can disrespect anybody. And I don't think that I can pick a specific person or a specific group of people that I really respect because I respect everybody and I treat everybody the way that I would like to be treated, even if they don't treat me nicely. Um, and this one kid, his name was Carlos, and he handed me his paper and he said, Madison, read this. And I remember it said, I was his first person he chose to say who he respects, and he put Madison Galuccio before his mom, before his dad, and his, his brother and sister. He put me ahead, and he put, I respect Madison because she fights for what is right, and she knows what is right, and she fights for what she believes in. And it really touched my heart that he said that about me, and I was like, wow, I'm really making an impact on people's lives by just being here, being nice, and really just doing what I know is right, and I spread gay pride everywhere, and I, I really believe that this is an issue that we need to really address, and it needs to be worked on now, and I'm, I'm ready, I'm ready to fight, and I'm ready to make sure that it will be passed, that the law will be passed here, and as soon as it gets passed here, I'll make sure it's passed in another state, in another state, and I want it to be passed all over the world. Before I leave, before I, I die, I want marriage equality to be passed throughout the entire world. Maybe it won't happen like that, but at least maybe we can get half of the world to agree. I'm ready to fight as hard as I can. I'm ready for the battles. I'm ready for the protests. I, I feel like I was born to do this. Like I'm, I'm born to do the right thing. I'm born to make other people happy and to make peace within the world. My whole thing is peace. I feel I I don't like fighting. I don't like when people are upset. And I'm I'm like the peacemaker for everybody. So I really believe that we should start and that that marriage equality needs to be addressed now and that we need to take a really big step and decide to, to really do this. I remember I was watching a debate um a couple days ago against the presidents, um, Romney and Obama, and I remember the first day Obama said that he was for gay marriage. It was like a whole party happened at my house, and we were all so excited, and I was like, wow, this could really work. We can really be getting somewhere, and um, I was very excited, and then I remember watching Mitt Romney, and the way it made me feel was like I was being bullied, like this guy is talking about people. Not, forget that they're even gay or straight, whatever. People, human beings in this kind of way. That he doesn't want adoption. That he, he doesn't believe in gay marriage. That he thinks that gay people should be fine. Like, wh what kind of person talks like that? About anybody. This, he, like, I know, I understand, like, we had the whole thing with black and, and that um, black people can like, be in the same place as white people, and that was not too long ago, and there's still people like that now, like, like, you can't say stuff about people, you know, if, if, it doesn't matter if they're gay, it doesn't matter if they're black, Hispanic, it doesn't matter, I will fight for what is right, and what I know is the right thing to do, this is something that I feel like I need to be a part of, I need to make a big difference, I, I can, I can really make a big difference in the world, and I, I've already made so many, like, impacts on people's lives, the people in my school look up to me, like, I'm, I'm a leader, and I know that I'm gonna be able to do this, and I'm just so ready for it, I, I'm ready to fight against anybody that wants to put hate, because I can't stand it, I can't, it makes me cry, it makes me sad, I, 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 I sat and watched Mitt Romney bash gay people, and I sat there and cried because it broke my heart that somebody was being so mean to a group of people for being who they are. All they were doing was being who they are, who they were born to be, and they can't be that because somebody is making them feel hurt, and somebody has so much hate towards them that they can't have their rights, and that's not fair. 
it really isn't and it bothers me because I think everyone has a right everyone should have a fair place and everyone should be able to do the same thing as each other it, it's not it's not okay like I don't feel safe because what like I'm not allowed to if my if my dad gets sick and my father's not married to him he can't visit him in the hospital what is that like that's tearing our family apart I'm not allowed to go see my dad. I can't just walk in there if I'm this age and my dad gets sick or something. Like, like no. We need to have marriage. Like, my family needs marriage rights. Gay people need the rights. We, they need to feel like they're accepted. You can't have people feeling like they're just nothing. It, it, it hurts them. and it, it hurts me that these people can't be themselves. That gay people and lesbians can't be who they are. The first thing I was told when I, that I was taught when I was growing up is be who you are. Don't be afraid to be who you are and don't care what other people think. I'm growing up in a world where if, if you, where you have to care what people think, otherwise you're going to get bullied or you're going to get hurt or you're, you're not going to have the same rights as people for being who you are, being who you were born to be. It's just, it's crazy. And I'm going to be fighting to the day I die on this topic and on any other topics that involve other people getting hated on and it's just it's so much hate and we just need peace I just want peace I'm one of those people that world peace is something that I wish and I dream about so I remember how I always take the quote from Martin Luther King Jr. when he says I have a dream well I have a dream that gay people will be able to get married one day and that they will be able to feel accepted and that we will all be able to be happy and peaceful and there won't be any more hate and it will just be happy. That's all we ever need. That's that's all the world is supposed to be. And and that that's what I want and that's what I'm ready to fight for. Um thank you. Uh wow I talked for a long time. Um <laughs> okay well I hope um I got my point across. Um, I can't wait to talk to you and meet you soon. Thank you so much. And, um, yeah. Bye.